Hey, it's Jose here. And today I want to share just a little bit of relationship advice with you from somebody who's been in a few relationships in his life, some long term, some short term, some really good, some a little bit bad. And just in my wisdom and experience of, of learning. And, and by the way, I think I've been in just about every type of relationship that I can think of. So uh, I believe I've, I've got a little bit to share and I'm going to do it in a way that's a little bit unconventional. Uh, I have four pieces of advice for you, but I'm going to approach them by way of analogy because I think it helps people visualize things uh, when it's a direct comparative sin to something that you have experience with and it's just a different approach. So um, the reason I'm doing this is because oftentimes we go into relationships thinking what's going to be in it for me, what's the benefit going to be to me, and we're thinking of the end game, how we're going to uh, ultimately uh, benefit from a relationship right so it's human nature but I want you to think of it in these four different ways so number one uh, I want you to think of a relationship as a sport and what this is going to touch on specifically is the concept of being a team right very similar in a relationship where there's two people it's a team you have to work together you have to collaborate um, in life a team sport is no different uh, take soccer for example, which is my favorite sport. Uh, I had a game a few days ago with um, a league that I just joined. We've only had about four games. We've won a couple games. We've lost a couple. We've had a bunch of uh, injuries and missing subs and stuff like that. Uh, I've scored a few goals and stuff like that. Now, my approach when I get out, out there on Monday nights is, hey, I'm just here to have fun, honestly, and I'm here to enjoy being out on the grass and the fresh air, you know, chasing that ball and just having a blast you know for me it's the journey uh, of course I, I like to win and I prefer to win and I and I, I love scoring goals but at the end of the day you know I'll set up a couple assists as well and I want to see my teammates also enjoying themselves and I want to see even the opposing team enjoying themselves and I don't want to see anybody get hurt so when you approach a relationship this way it just takes a ton of pressure off of you and, and obviously you're gonna give it your best out there and you're gonna to try to win, but at the end of the day, if you're going to into it thinking that the outcome is based on the experience on the field, if you had fun, and God forbid nobody was taken out of there on a stretcher, then it was a good game, you know, and then you shake everybody's hand and good game. So that's analogy number one. Analogy number two has to do with roles in the relationship, and I want you to think about a band, a musical band, an ensemble, an orchestra, whatever you wanna think about it. Uh, and if you look up Chris Rock, he's got a funny little bit in one of his comedy sketches about this, about how, you know, your roles in a relationship are often, you know, like bandmates in a band. Sometimes we all want to be the lead guitarist or the lead singer, but we may be the tambourine player. And it really just comes down to communicating with your band and trying to create good music together, you know, and, and if you're going to be if you're good at a specific role, you have to give it your all and uh, regardless of what that is. And I believe that's important in any relationships because we're all going to have different strengths and weaknesses and we have to learn to leverage off of each other in order to, you know, have that chemistry on stage and make beautiful music. And the band is no different. You know, some uh, some of the greatest bands in the world, um, especially when you watch them perform, it's because they have that amazing chemistry together and they know how to how to communicate. Uh, via their instruments. So it's the same thing with relationships. So knowing your roles is very important. Uh, the third analogy I want you to think of is is a plant. I mean, and, and it sounds silly, but this really comes down to what I was saying at the very beginning, what's in it for us, right? We want to come in and immediately harvest benefits right away because we've committed to a relationship. But at the, if you think about it, a plant takes time to grow fruit and you have to nurture it. You have to give it that sunlight, you gotta water it, you gotta take care of it, and um, eventually that fruit will begin to sprout. You'll be able to you know, pick it and have some delicious whatever it is that you're trying to, to grow, and it's no different with, with a relationship. It's, you're, you're only gonna harvest what you sow into it. If you abuse it, don't take care of it, don't give it that, you know, that vitamin D, whatever it is that it needs, you're not gonna get much out of it. So, you definitely need to approach a relationship like it's a it's a plant it's delicate it's fragile it needs water it needs sun right and before i give you the the fourth and final i just want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel 
you know, that helps me put out content like this if you found it valuable or helpful. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. And this is fun for me, you know, putting this stuff together. So that would support the channel, of course. So let's get right to it. The fourth and final piece of advice or analogies to think of it as a friendship, right? I want you to think back to maybe your early childhood in school, on your street, when you had these, you know, these friends or these best friends that you would hang out with or play on the street with. And just the fact that it was a beautiful relationship because there wasn't any sort of exclusive commitment. It was just like a trust and a loyalty and just you had each other's backs. You could tell each other anything, you know, secrets and you could confide in each other to, to, to be there, you know, one for the other. So I think a, a friendship is so often overlooked as an important facet of a relationship. I think it should be central um, and, and, and the core of, of our, even though it's a romantic relationship that we're trying to build. But when you have that, not only does it make it so much more fun, but it really just enhances the trust and the loyalty because it's it's like having a close buddy, right? A best friend. And uh, oftentimes we go into it just thinking it's it's a romantic relationship, but the two and two go so well together. So to compare that is going to build on that on that loyalty for you to think of it and approach it in that regard. No different than being on a sports team, being in a band together, taking care of a plant or having a friendship. So I hope you, you took something away from that and were able to, you know, think of it in a different light so to speak and, and take that advice and apply it to your relationship and um i hope that was helpful so that being said i will see you in the next video